Welcome back, everyone in YouTube land. This is your tinfoil hat economist coming back to you at the speed of light. Episode number 23, Cleveland Fed says no inflation for the next seven years and even 10 years. Of what do I speak? Well, let us turn to the Cleveland Federal Reserve and they put out something called 10-year in expected inflation and real and inflation risk premia. Okay, that's a lot of jibber jabber, but basically they're showing you expected inflation rates through the next 10 years. And we see that they are coming at 1.16%. Now this is on the CPI, 1.16% on the CPI for the next 10 years but only 1% for the next seven years. That's the amount of inflation expected based upon, they do surveys, they look at the Treasury inflation protected security yields and some other indicators and come up with what the market is saying inflation is expected to be for the next 10 and also seven years on something they call term premium. So, Another interesting aspect, and I'll leave links to this in the uh, description box, is if you look at inflation, expected inflation rate in the, starting in 1980, it was about 6% almost, dropped down to, uh, you're looking at uh, 4 and 5% in the 1990s, and then dropped down to 3 and 2% in the 2000s, and is now around 1%. That's the expected inflation rate as estimated by the Cleveland Federal Reserve. But if you look at the, the trend line, it's, it's down, 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 down for 40 years, which is a bit amusing because for the last 40 years, we've heard from various economic luminaries that much higher rates of inflation are pending and have been risked by Federal Reserve policies and by federal deficits. But the track record is lower expected inflation rates. Uh, I would call it a secular trend for 40 years. And I really don't see where this is going to bottom out. It may bottom out at zero, or if it keeps going, we'll go, we'll go into a deflation in the next 10 years or so. Now, why do I say no inflation is expected? Because the Cleveland Fed is giving you an expectations of the CPI, which tends to run uh, four-tenths of a percent above the personal consumption uh, expenditure deflator, uh, which is the inflation index linked to or pegged to by the Federal Reserve. So by that measure, the Cleveland Fed is really kind of saying, well, inflation is going to be at maybe half a percent or a little bit above that. That's the expectation for the next 10 years seven years. And there are yet others who say that even that measure of inflation tends to overstate, the PCE tends to overstate inflation a little bit, new product introductions, very hard to measure, of course, the value of a mobile tablet and the information you get from it and construct a deflator. What would that have cost you 30 years ago? Simply an impossible question. But there you have it from the Cleveland Fed, and I'll leave some links in the description box. We're looking at pretty much dead inflation for the next 10 years, which is not something you hear from the gold uh, bugs and not something you hear from the inflation mongers. And so keep it, turn to this Cleveland Fed uh, inflation expectations forecast, if you will, and see what you think. So this is your tinfoil hat economist, Signing off at the speed of light. Looking forward to seeing all of you in episode number 24.